Hey, Super D here with new cool stuff. I think this is episode four. This is Jim Sicer's Rhino Flex Bar. Been using it on Speed Day. He sent it to me a while back. Been using it every day. I try to use this stuff for a while before I film it. Listen, this is the way I set it up. I like the weights to be way at the end here. It's like it's a lot of flex. You can see it's already bowed inside this rack. So I took a little PCV pipe about five inches wide, stuck it on there, a little weight, like uh, those, what are they called? Those like kilo breaker plates, those bullshit plates, you know? I put those there, my chain, and then the, the, uh, the plates. So now it's all the way at the end, and I'm, I'm ready to go. So I love to do floor presses, and, and, uh, and, and I like this bar on my speed work. So it is, I've seen Grony go up to like 500 pounds with this bar, so it's gonna hold up no matter what you put on it. So what I'm gonna do is get down here, You'll see the lines, he has two lines here. My hands, yeah, I'm a bigger guy. Uh, so I put my hands all the way to the thing here. So I'm gonna go like this, get down here, get my hands lined up, get centered on this pad. Here we go. Now, I'm just gonna do about three. What I want you to do is watch how this thing flexes and moves. That, you see how it just keeps going? And I try to go with that rhythm and just pound it. Man, I like to pound, pound, pound. You know, like the glory, oh, never mind. Let's not talk about my romantic life. Anyway, this bar, really good, flexes around. And one thing I found, you know, I'm an older dude, been trained at 39 years, a little less painful on the wrist and the elbow. I don't even have to re wear uh, wrist wraps when I do this thing. So, very common. One of the reasons because this bar is practically weightless. So. A little less uh, trauma on the joints. But I highly recommend it to put in your arsenal. Get it, get it done, be the best you can be. This is Super D with New Cool Stuff, Episode 4 with the Rhino Flex Bar.